Alongside Havilland, a sophomore hurler, Colton Taylor, I'm Mark and Sarah for Havilland Athletics after a 3-2 series closing win in which, Colton, you got the last six outs and put, put, you came in a little bit of a tight spot in the eighth, but then you cruised through the ninth inning. How'd you feel on the mound today? I mean, I felt great. It was uh, my third time out this weekend. I was out there Friday and Saturday this week. I had a good idea of what the hitters are trying to do with the ball. Uh, you know, they're, they're main guys in the lineup trying to stay away from them. Slatter's been working all week, and uh, I just kind of stuck to that, stuck to my game plan. It's been working all year. And we're just trying to catch them with the off speed. So it worked really well. Obviously, today ran into a little bit more trouble. They had seen me a little bit, but I was able to get out of it and we were able to walk away with a sweep. So can't complain. Pitching three days in a row can sometimes be tough. Did you and Coach Gonzalez talk about your availability today? How comfortable were you pitching on a third straight day? Absolutely. And uh, this is the first time I think this year that I've done that. I've had a couple back to backs uh, earlier in the year. I had a Saturday where I pitched twice in one day. And it is difficult, but. You know, the trainers do a really good job getting us ready to go. Me and Gonzalez did have a, a small talk about it. I told him I maybe not felt my best, but I told him I was ready to go. Uh, I would have let him know inning by inning how I was doing, but Cement gave us an, like an absolutely classic Cement start, went seven with one run, so it was easy for me to just come in and get those last two. So You've been the guy in the late innings. You have seven saves now on the season, which I think is tops in the conference. Did you know, when did you find out that the, the ninth inning was going to be your territory? Uh, so we were out there. I was moving around uh, in the seventh. We knew it was going to be Cement's last no matter what. His pitch count was up so me and Luis were in the bullpen moving around and the plan was because it was 1-1 one, one at, at the time and if it stayed the same they were going to go with Luis in the eighth and then me the ninth but if we went ahead which we did we had another clutch hit I got to come into the eighth and, and get those last six. How much do you enjoy pitching the ninth inning? I love it man it, it's something I've never really done been closing I've, I've played with it in, in the past in junior college but coming in here uh, we talked about it in the fall we thought it was going to be a really good spot for me and I think it it's goes to show that it's where I belong and I'm just honored to be as big a part of it as I have been I mean this team's special I think it's obvious we're going to keep rolling we got a couple more weeks left of regular season I hope I can just continue to do my thing help these guys get some wins I know you had some family that came all the way down from Canada to see this did this make it the weekend a little bit more special for you Definitely, and I've been lucky with them too. I had a, a week earlier in the year, my mom came down, and then my brother was in one week, and now my dad and my stepmom are in this weekend. And it, it's just amazing to have them there. They, they haven't been able to get over the States in a couple of years now because of COVID, so seeing them up in the stands after the game, it just brings me back to high school and my childhood, and it's amazing, man. Obviously, I still when I'm up there, I'm still trying to do my thing. I'm not thinking about that, but being able to walk back there and see them, it's, it's something that I don't get to experience often, so I love it. All right, well, congrats on another save and a win. Thanks for the time. I appreciate it. We'll take it.